people who just going to school for a quick degree because they know that to get these jobs, it could be like an entry level job. Most jobs need it. They require at least a bachelor's. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And associates. So it's like a lot of these people don't necessarily have any real goals, but they want to get money. So they're not thinking about what their passions are that could kind of drive their income potential to kind of increase. They're just thinking about how can I get in there so I can get the bag. Everything is about the bag. Mm -hmm. Whatever the bag means to them, they want the bag. So they're not thinking like a, a number. They're not thinking about a long-term subset of, uh, uh, of things that meet that criteria. They're thinking about all the different things they can buy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some that can right. change their financial state from what they know to be like their norm. And I see that I see that across the board with a lot of people. I work with I work with so many people. I'm probably the least educated person that makes more money than most of my peer group. And I work with mm -hmm. a lot of people that I make more money than who went to school for this, this, and this, and this, and this. You know what I'm saying? And the reason being is because I I have focus on what I know my strong suit is, and I know mm -hmm. how to apply it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't have that. A lot of people didn't have that type of. Uh, I guess tutelage growing up on how to apply themselves in that way. So they like focus on being bookworms and there's nothing wrong with being a bookworm, but it's all about application. Yeah. What's the point of learning all these different things if you can't absolutely apply it because you get a degree. Mm -hmm. Just because you got a degree doesn't mean you're going to be financially stable. What's going, what that means is that, yeah, you pay, you're paying this school for maybe how, for what perpetuity, right? <laughs> for the rest of your life, for a piece of paper that that doesn't for you, for you not to work in the field that you went to school for yeah I mean, and i know quite a few people like that i'm not gonna say nobody's name but i've worked with some people like that that went to school for one thing and they're actually working doing something totally different from what they're what they signed up for yeah so i mean should you get out of school if you do it in four years most people don't but you what you could have up to fifty thousand plus student loans easily most people yeah, easily. So then you paying that off. But the guy that went to you know barber, electric, plumbing school or whatever, he's done in two, and he making you know double what you making. Well, y'all could be making the same, but you sitting there still paying back student loans. Right. So he's still ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's still ahead. And then as he furthers his career in in uh, those fields, he's he gonna make even more. Yeah. Yep. And and then if he's smart enough to use his own ingenuity, he can go yo. Maybe I should start my own business and, and and start doing pipe fitting on the side or brick laying on the side or get with my guys and do all that. And, and you start doing foundations or tuck pointing to houses and things like that. You end up making yourself some money on the side. So. Cause he made threw me off. <laughs> <laughs>